Hi guys, I'm back with a new video with an interesting topic. That is how to find the survey numbers of any location across India. Lot of people when they buy lands, especially agriculture lands, right? Now they don't know if the owner is the real owner. That's first point. And second question is, is the real survey number which he's trying to sell me is in the same location or not? These are the common questions which anyone has when they're buying a land. So they have to depend on the surveyor and surveyor has to come and check the survey number and then confirm you. But before doing all of that, you can do it on your own as well. You can find out that is he the real seller, first thing, and is he is the genuine survey number or not, right? How can we do it? Let's learn now. There is an application of government of India, which is called as nrse.bhuvan2d, right? So we learn that, how to use that app and find out the survey numbers of any location. So guys, I hope you can see my screen now. You just type bhuvan2d and you will get this link, okay? Just click on that link. Okay, this web page will open. You can see a search bar, right? So in this search bar, you can actually type any Google coordinates which you want to know the survey number. So, and I'll just do a random check right now. This is, I'm not just ma not marketing any project or any lands. This is just a random check, okay? Assuming uh, this is just a location which is open in my map. In Maheshwaram, assuming I just click a random location, okay? Near to Mansanpalli. Assuming just somewhere around here okay assuming it's a layout so let's click here right so i click here i control and i copy the google coordinates you can copy any google coordinates doesn't matter you click here okay i'll click here and i just paste this google coordinates and i search it takes me to that google location you can see this and let me zoom in at least zoom in zoom in or ikbar zoom in or Ekbar zoom in, okay? So if you zoom in, you see it is survey number 141, very close to Mansanpali. Let me zoom in once again, you can see this 141. And this is the Mansanpali village. This is survey number 141. Now that's perfect. Now you got to know, and you just match it, this with Google Maps, you'll find out this is Mansanpali road, this is Mansanpali. This is Mansanpali road, this is Mansanpali, right? So this is 141. Now you may have questions or oh, this is fine. You know, I got to know that this is in 141 survey number in my, in Mansanpali village. Now, how do I find out if the owner is real or not? So what you have to do is first thing, just go to Google and you should know which district Mansanpali and which Mandan Mansanpali comes in. I know it, but just for your sake, I'm just showing it. You can just type Mansanpali village. When you type Mansanpali village, it will show you it's in Rangaradi district and it, in, it is in Maheshwaram Mandar. So now you got to know, right? Next, what you do is you go to Dharni portal. And there, there is an option called as land search details. Click here. Okay, click here to continue. And in this, you select survey number. And if you have the Patidar passbook number already with you, well and good, you can directly search with it. Otherwise, you can search with districts. So we got to know that it is in Rangaradi district. It is in Maheshwaram Mandal. It is in Mansanpali village. Right. So now subdivision survey number. Now what is the survey number? We saw 141. Now one thing you have to understand is 141 is a very big survey number. Assuming it's around 15, 20 acre survey number. So you will have bits and pieces of survey numbers of 141. 141 slash R, E, U, whatever. Right. Now just go down, go down, go down, 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 141. We lost that. Okay, so it's 141. You can see a lot of survey numbers. Assuming I want to check who is who owns this R2 example. Okay, I just click here. Uh, Kada number, I just select this, whatever it shows. And then just type this. This is a random check, guys. I'm just checking someone's land. If this is your land. Don't feel bad. I'm just doing a random check. Okay, fetch. So now you get the details. Okay, you get the cost of the person. You get the type of the land. You get the total government cost. Type of land is agriculture land. It's a meta dry land. Right? So the name of the person. Okay. Chandraya is his name. So okay, this land belongs to Chandraya. And uh, this is the extent of the land he has. Right? And this is the market value of that land. Now, when you buy this particular survey number, make sure that the land is being sold by Chandraya to you. Because he is the legal owner of that particular land. Got it? So this is how you can check, guys, whatever lands you're buying, are you buying from the correct owner or not? 
This is how you can check which location is falling in which survey number. In fact, you can check prohibited list also doing this. Right. So next time I'll show you how to check prohibited list as well. But I hope this video really helps you guys. This was a common question I used to get. It's a very beautiful solution. Apply this and check for your own lands. I'm sure you will enjoy the process. Right. I hope this video helps you. I'll see you soon in a new video. Till then, take care.